Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't filmed in a hot second, but obviously today's video is going to be a little different than normal. I never thought that I would be filming a day in the life in quarantine, but you know what? Here we are. Obviously, we all know what is going on and it's super crazy and different and a lot of people are experiencing so many different feelings towards this. I know for me, I already have pretty bad anxiety and then on top of this, it just has built up a lot of anxiety for me. So that's kind of why I haven't filmed a video in a while. I've just been really trying to settle in. I came back to Arizona, so I'm in my bedroom that I grew up in. It's a mess. I haven't made my bed and my clothes are on the floor. Like, I'm just a mess. But um, I just thought I'd film a day in my life in quarantine here and maybe help some of you guys out on things to do during the day. If any of you guys are feeling anxious during this time, I know that I have felt extra anxious during this time. Um, just some things that have helped me take my mind off of it. I know that whenever I'm just like doing things with my day and being a little bit more productive for the most part during the week, it has helped me with my anxiety, just kind of like setting up a list of things to do and just having a good day. Even if you don't have anxiety, this is just a weird time and sometimes it's nice to have some sort of a schedule. Obviously, I'm not in school, so some of you guys have school to do, but I have a few days a week that I obviously just like chill and do nothing. That was like yesterday for me, like didn't get ready, didn't do anything. And today I just wanted to film this video and kind of show you guys what I've been doing in quarantine and maybe you guys will find it fun, cool to watch, or maybe you guys will find something for you to do during quarantine. Right now I think it's around like 10, 15, 10, 30. I've been waking up at like, I'd say like 8, 39 every day, which is like a normal time to wake up. I feel like that isn't bad. If I could sleep in, I would, but for some reason I just can't sleep in. Like I don't know how to sleep in. I literally can't. I could go to bed at two in the morning and I will always wake up at like 8, 39. But um, right now I am just going to change into some like workout clothes. I think it's good for me to like get out of my PJs to like get a day like this started. If I'm in my PJs all day, I'm going to do nothing, which is also great. And I do that too. But today I want to be sort of somewhat productive. So I'm going to put on just like a little um, set outfit and then I'm going to go downstairs and make some breakfast, brunch, lunch. I don't know. Jet is taking a dance class down there. So we might be able to see that too. He's taking a little zoom dance class. So this is my outfit for the day. It's just this little set top and then it has a set bra under it and then just these leggings. So I just walked downstairs and Jet's taking a dance class on Zoom. Those are his sassy walks. <laughs> My go-to breakfast recently has been avocado, eggs, and turkey bacon with some fruit. But today, we don't have any avocados. So I'm just gonna make some turkey bacon, eggs, and then cut up some fruit on the side. I'll have you guys watch me cut up, cook up some food. Okay, so we ended up not really having any fruit that I wanted to eat and no avocados, so we really need to go to the grocery store. I just made some eggs with some turkey bacon. I'm gonna eat this right now. I'm sure I'm gonna get hungry in a little bit, so I'll probably be making a snack in like an hour and a half or an hour. You know, you just get bored and you just wanna eat, so I'm gonna eat this really quick and then, yeah. I had this weird thing where I like hated eggs up until like I moved out and lived on my own and now I've been eating eggs like every morning which is really interesting because I never did but right now I'm trying to stay away from like carbs and sugar I thought I would get corn skinny while I'm in here so I've been eating less carbs and stuff most of the time I would have make this like a little breakfast sandwich and do like avocado eggs turkey bacon and like half a bagel but since I am trying to cut out gluten and stuff. I'm not gonna do that today. Also, I've been trying to drink three Hydro Flasks. Let's go, girl. Oh my god, my mom has so many Hydro Flasks. It's actually insane. So, I've been trying to drink three of these a day, so I'll usually drink one like morning, midday, and then right before I go to bed. It's a lot of water, but I swear it's like good for you, and it's easier to drink water out of a Hydro Flask than like any other water bottle. I don't really know why. That's just how I feel. 
Okay, so the next thing that I am going to do today is finish my book. I have been reading this book. It is so good um, for me because it's just helping with, you know, just like creating a life you're going to love, giving you some advice on so many different things, even when it comes to just like money, to life, to meditation, to just kind of like bettering yourself. And I feel like it was a good book for me to read. So I only have two chapters left and I don't re even remember the last time I've read a book, which I know how awful that is, but literally I think the last time I like read a book was because I had to in school. So I felt like during quarantine, I should try new things like reading books because I don't ever do that. And I most of the time don't even have time to like read books. So I think this is a good book if you guys want to be inspired and everything. This is, I feel like it's going to really help me just in my life. I've learned a lot from reading this book and it's not too long. It's only like 240 pages or whatnot. So I'm going to read the last two chapters right now. So I just finished the book and I honestly feel very accomplished because I just haven't read a book or done something like this in so long and I think something that's been helping me in quarantine is just kind of setting like somewhat goals of things to do if I'm not you know usually I'd be in meetings all day long or going to dance class or doing other things and obviously we can't be doing that right now so I just set a goal to read a couple books while I'm in quarantine and this is my first one it is a self-help book it's called you are a badass and how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. And it's just been, I feel like this is a really helpful book for people who wanna be inspired, feel a little bit lost and can't really get their like thoughts like straight and can't like figure out your life. I don't know how to explain this, but like you can't really figure out your life and you need just a little bit of guidance. This is definitely a good book to read. All right, so I decided to finally get off the couch and do a little workout. Right now it is about 12.30, so I'm gonna do just a quick little workout. I'm not gonna go too crazy today. I went a little crazy yesterday. I might like ride my bike or do like a walk later. But um, I'm just gonna do like a little bit um, of like band work for my butt, maybe a little bit of abs, and then I'm gonna do some yoga. And what's great about during this time, a lot of people, a lot, I mean a lot of people have been posting different workout videos and things to do over Instagram, YouTube, whatnot. And sometimes I look at them and I'm just like, you guys are just so motivated. Like I need to be like you, cause I have not worked out every day during the quarantine, but it's okay, it's okay. But um, one of my favorite little yoga instructors, her name is Yoga by Adrienne, that's what it is on YouTube, and she has so many different like flows and things to do. So I'm probably gonna end off with that. We have a little TV in our workout room, which I don't know when they put that in, but I'm loving it for this time, I'm loving it. So I'm gonna just do a quick little band workout. I can walk you guys through it. I'll give you guys like a little, run through what I'm doing or maybe I'll like put little subtitles just to show you what I'm doing but let's get started. Here we go. Work out. But now I'm going to follow this yoga by Adrienne and do a little bit of yoga really quick just because I like to stretch my body out and everything. So let's do some yoga. <laughs> Okay guys, so it is about 2.20 and I just put my swimsuit on. I am gonna go swimming with my brother and my mom 
Maybe a little tan, a little Insta photo, a little quarantine thirst trap. And yeah, so I'll take you guys outside with me. You can't really do much in quarantine, right? <laughs> Sorry that they're being so loud, but what I was gonna say is, is that Luckily for me, I am quarantining in Arizona where it's like 80 degrees outside. It's like perfect weather to go swimming and stuff. So honestly, I feel bad for anybody who has to quarantine in like snow or cold weather. Weather? I don't think I could do it because, I mean, I guess I'm also like from Arizona, so it's like home for me. But yeah, this is great. I mean, it's not awful quarantining in warm weather, you know? So I have this like little fajita bowl and then I'm just gonna put some like guac sour cream and pico in it and eat this really quick because I'm a little hungry and then I'll probably eat the rest Around like dinner time ish. I've been trying to eat like Smaller meals, but like more of them So like I'll eat like six times a day of like more smaller things than like three big meals But this is so good. It's like a little fajita bowl. It's so yummy. Okay, so I went upstairs and showered really quick and we made some dinner. It's basically gone now because we ate it all and I ate half of this ravioli. So it's gone now, but it was ravioli and it looks like that. It's a nice ravioli dish. Show more kisses, show more kisses. I love you. But now that I have a showered and ate dinner, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of self-care. I might go to my room, watch some TV, some Netflix, something, put on a face mask and just kind of relax. Sometimes I like to dance, but I did a Instagram live dance class the other day, so I feel like I've danced a lot lately. But I do need to make up a new combo because I'm doing another Instagram live dance class. Let me know if you guys have joined it and if you liked it and if you want me to do more because I feel like they're really fun. It's fun for me to get kind of like my creative energy out. So I'm down to do it. Comment down below if you want to see more of them. I promise I'll be better than that. <laughs> this is one of my favorite face masks. It's this one right here. Alright guys, so here is my outro of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to talk to you guys really quick and show you the merch that I have created. Um, it says Grow, Evolve, Transform with Butterflies. And the back is my favorite. It just has a ton of butterflies into a big butterfly. And this merch means a lot to me just because um, for me, I have a whole lot of love for like butterflies. Butterflies are like my favorite thing. I never really told you guys this, but I got a tattoo butterfly on my finger. I haven't really told anyone about that. It's kind of coming off. I get, gotta get it retouched up. But the meaning of butterflies is to just grow and evolve, and there's a ton of different meanings to them. If you look it up, there's just it's a very versatile meaning. I don't know how I don't know if I'm explaining this well, but I just love butterflies, and whenever I was starting to get really bad anxiety. Butterflies to me were showing up in a lot of different places just helping me like to grow and evolve and know I'm gonna get past this and I'm gonna get through this and I just think they're really meaningful in my life I have them all over my apartment tattooed on my finger and I wanted to create some merch for it so I have white hoodies black hoodies and some other stuff so I will put all the description stuff below so you guys can get some merch if you want. Um, I hope you guys like it. Comment down below if you love the merch. Also, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.